Well, good day, this is Damien from uh, Fixwin PC. Uh, just here with a quick video on uh, how to reset a DSC 1832 alarm panel. Um, so I bought this alarm panel, but the thing is, unlike the last one which I bought, it's not dealer locked. It is actually just, uh, there's a password in it, and I, I pretty much do not know what it is. So the guy who sold me it, he said he doesn't know either. So I kind of left out in, in, in on my own. So there's no worries, there's always Google. So I looked up a procedure. So I'm about to try it, see if it works. First of all, let me power up the panel. What we're looking for first is to make sure we don't hear a series of clicks when the panel powers up. Because if we hear a series of clicks, that means it's deal locked and then there's pretty much no hope. Well, there is one guy, but he does them in groups of five, so. So let's wait. All right, it's powered up, no clicks. That's a good sign. So here we have the keypad. Now I'm just experimenting with this. I'm, um, uh, I'll make a better video about this in particular. But there's tons of video on how to wire this up, so I'm not going to get into it. I'm just going to show you how to default it. So what you have to do, what they say anyway, is that you have to type in the passwords. Let me just get this where you can see it. So what uh, the default password for these things are usually um, 5555 five, 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 or 1234. So what we have to do is put in the installer. We're trying to get to install a programming. So you have to press star 8. And you put in the code wrong code. So let's try one, two, three, four. Wrong code also. Now if we look at what errors there are, we just want to, so it's one and eight, and three and five. Okay, so, all right, we could look up what that is in the manual after. All right, so I'm going to exit. So it's not that it's not connected, because if I move this, um, Door contact. See, you get something there. Put it back. It goes into green. So it's not that. So let us. Um, the instructions are what you're supposed to do is basically remove AC and battery power from the panel. So I'm going to remove the battery power. There you go. Get this off. Cut it off easily just now. There you go. All right. So it's it's off. I don't have a battery connected, so I don't have to take out the battery. As I said, I'm just hooking this up. And they say now, get as close as possible. In zone one, which is Z1, you have to short remove this wire here, which is for zone one, and you run a short from Z1 to PGM1. And then you power back on the panel. And when there's a zone fault for one, then the reset is complete. Then we'll take it back down. And then we'll try to use the installer code again. Okay? So here we go. Right, so we applied power. You see we shorted out the wires. Z1. Let me get that. More focus for you, right? So from Z1, you see there's a wire going to PGM1. So we ran a short and then we connected the power and then we waited on this to go to zone one. This say when the zone one light, when zone one shows a fault, so you see there's a door open. So if we go and see what these problems are, so you get that. You exit from that, you see a one. So that means the reset is complete. So now we just have to disconnect this wire, disconnect this wire, and take out the power, and connect everybody back up, and we should be able to access the panel. All right, so we put power back on, we remove the wire, put back into the zone. See the resistor there? There's nothing in PGM1. And now, 
you get this noise here. Now let's see if it works. Because you saw earlier I was doing the code and I was getting an error. So now, here we go. The default code is supposed to be 5555 five, 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 or 1234. So let's go. There you go. And we're in. So now we can program and do other stuff now that we have reset it. So now I can go in and look into changing you know, zones and uh, hooking up the DLS, which is the main reason why I got into this, to hook up the DLS. As you can see, I have this DLS uh, PC link connected to the board, and it's going to the serial adapter, and the serial adapter is going to my PC. So, yeah, this is another video here. Just trying to demonstrate, just trying to share some knowledge. So, thank you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you want to see more videos, subscribe. And remember, this is Damien from Fixed Win PC. And thank you for watching.